gather the plants and meet me at the ritual site. <laughs> I've been trying to meet you for like three days. Cut me some slack. A small stone shrine sits off to one side of the clearing. Five grooves run out from the center of the stone, widening into recesses at the base. Five slots, five plants. Plan number one, Devil's Nightcap. Plan number two, Swift Snare. Number three, Widow's Woe. Long Varicand. Elder Finium. Meow. Well done. I'll take it from here. I stand back and watch as Verona walks around the shrine, muttering soft incantations. It feels like a long time passes before she looks up, but in reality, it was perhaps only 10 minutes. Nothing's happening. What do you mean nothing's happening? Have we got the right plants? I think so. Perhaps we just need to be patient. A loud noise behind us makes us all jump. Turning round, I see something that makes my blood run cold. The woman in the jade mask is walking calmly and slowly towards us from the other side of the clearing. Behind her, standing tall and terrifying, is the black silhouette of the servant. <laughs> Spooky man emerges from a Miyazaki film to terrorize small English village. What was that about being patient? I think we're out of time. Do not be afraid. I'm here to surrender willingly. The servant cannot be allowed to- Ah! Oh no! Maybe I should have made her afraid. Maybe giving her courage was not great. <laughs> the creature lunges forward and brings a huge arm, scything towards her. Scything? Gerundified scythe? Verbify that bad boy? Never heard it? Kind of into it. Her scream pierces the cold air and she drops to her knees, clutching her head, but the blow seems to glance off to one side as it comes hurtling down and the beast's claw ends up embedded in the dirt instead of the woman's back. Classic giant axe warrior stuck in the dirt situation. This is our chance to strike. Use the plants. I can't hold it back much longer. You need this. She throws a small vial of red liquid, which Reuben deftly catches and holds up to the light. Blood. Quickly, I know what to do. Verona grabs the vial and fumbles to get the stopper out as she turns back to the shrine. The servant has its huge arm free again and is slowly advancing with strange, jerking movements. Verona pours the blood into a small cavity in the shrine and everything seems to happen at once. A pillar of bright white light launches out of the shrine towards the servant and hits it in the chest. The huge beast shrieks and staggers backward, drowning out the screams of the woman in the jade mask who is clutching her head and writhing in agony on the ground. There's an almighty thunderclap and a blinding flash of light, and suddenly, the servant is gone. A patch of charred ground smolders where it stood just moments before. My head is spinning at what just happened. Did it work? Have we defeated the servant? Friday. With the dust settled and the servant vanquished, I've been able to reflect on the events of the last few weeks. So we did vanquish it. it is, it's gone. We've done it. We were fortunate that Thea was able to stay in control of the beast for as long as she did. Who can say what would have happened if she was unable to prevent it causing the destruction it craved? Undermare has never felt so jubilant, so full of life. All the nervous tension that had built up evaporated in an instant, and the people have plowed their energies into celebration and merriment. They do not know the whole truth, of course. That Thea, the woman in the Jade Mask, was the one who summoned the servant. I promised Reuben that I would leave it to him to unravel that mess. She is his daughter after all. Ooh. 
The father! I didn't see that plot twist coming, I'm not gonna lie. And as for myself, well, I'm back in the calm of strange horticulture, of course, with Hellbor for company. It's quieter around here, but I'm content, and there are always more plants to learn about and discover. Boom. The Sleeping Dendru. It is done. The servant can go back to being a dark story for dusty shelves. Ending two. Elder Finium. At the end, Reuben Ward is alive, attempting to reconnect with his daughter. Verona Green, the occult scholar, is alive, regularly visiting us for advice. We've become firm friends. Bethany Coleman, the sister, is deceased, killed by the servant. Faye Swift, the psychic, is alive. She's not dreamt of the servant since you performed the ritual. Ennis Aylford, the cultist, is in hiding and has not been seen since the defeat of the servant. Rumors that he's living in Rydal Cave once again. Forrest Vare, the hunter, is wounded. Both his body and his pride have been damaged, but he lives. Thea Ward, the woman in the jade mask, is in hiding, ashamed of her actions that caused so much pain and death. It's unlikely she'll ever fully recover from the trauma. And Isidore Burbage, the barrister, is alive, currently pursuing legal action against strange horticulture. <laughs> you bunghole man. I saved your whole freaking country. You're going to sue me? Truly, you are the worst. Ending two, Elder Finium. Did anybody get any other endings? I know a few of you have played through it. Did you get a different ending? What are you going to sue me for? Helping people too much? Some people are obnoxious. Oh, enjoy, B40. This is literally an ending, so this would be a good time to not watch if you're going to go play. <laughs> yeah, scything is definitely evocative, I agree. Oh, I'm sorry, Epsilon Rose. Well, the VOD is waiting. Poison the Bungle Man. <laughs> it definitely feels like there's multiple endings, and we know that there's something like five places where we were given a choice, you know? Maybe we could have poisoned Isidore Burbage, and that would have changed things. We could have not tried to connect with the cultists, and then maybe they would try to fight us. We could have not helped out Forrest Vare, and maybe he wouldn't have gone to go fight. Or we could have, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of things we could have changed. GG. Bad Viking. Game by all these people. Very good, Shallow Thought. It was my most anticipated demo of 2021. And I played a lot of demos in 2021. Right, Cirrus? I The more I think about it, the more I think that this is more of a visual novel than a reciteer. But the, the shop front part, it's really nice. Yeah, I would play blind, Shallow Thought. And then watch my VOD. For real, it might be fun to see a different a different playthrough. Oh, the credits have been looping. I didn't realize. <laughs> it's not very many people. There's like four or five total people. 
There's more people on the music than there are on the game. That's wild. Earlier. What? Wait. Post game plant identification station? Let's go, baby. Oh. They gave me a post game. I thought I was going to have to go to bed. I was so worried that there would be plants that never got to to know their truth. They put game after my game. Yeah, Bookwalker, pretty sweet. I mean, there was a bunch of demos that I'm anticipating very highly, but... I really mean it when I say that Strange Horticulture was my most anticipated, and it's not because I think it's gonna was going to be the most exciting. It's not because I thought it would end up being the most novel, innovative. It's because I felt that it was the most cohesive. It just achieved its mood perfectly. And I freaking love when games do that. When games come together and they're just this complete meal, you know? And when I played it, it just felt like all the pieces really fit. Like the atmosphere and the gameplay loop and the and just the general engagement and intrigue all meshed together so perfectly. And then the game came out and that was true. But now we get to do some sweet post-game plant identification. Our new note says... Have you ever heard of the Monastery of the Black Veil? I think it would interest you. I learned of it from a man from Ravenglass. If you're ever in that part of the world, you should ask him about it. He owns the Horseshoe Inn on Main Street. And we also have a little secret Mapperino. Did this go back and put us on an alternate path? It said earlier. Monastery of the Black Veil, Ravenglass. I don't remember anything called Ravenglass. Notably, Ravenglass. Aha. Obra Din. I still have never played it, but I always hear quite good things. You know, I never actually played Reseteer at T-Pocket. I, I played the Moonlighter. Which I quite liked, but I'd like to I'd like to try Reseteer. That's fair, Panturd. Having some good voicing, yeah. I do wish that I had assigned actual, like, consistent voices for the main characters earlier on, but that's okay. It's not it's far from the end of the world. I am met by a man with a thick black beard and kind eyes, who's delighted to have found a willing ear to listen to his stories. You won't find the Monastery of the Black Veil marked on any map. They don't want to be found. The monastery was on the edge of a wood. I remember that much. We must have been heading west, because I could feel the sun on my face, and it was evening. We crossed two rivers. Then we followed a river for a while. I could hear it to my left as we traveled. They left me here in Ravenglass, and I've stayed ever since. As I turn to leave, he adds, here, if you're serious about going, you'd better have this. The edge of a wood. They were heading west, crossed two rivers, and then followed a river for a while. They could hear it on their left as they traveled. And then they ultimately ended up in Ravenglass. It could be here. River, river. No, but it said they were heading west. And so presumably they would keep heading west. I mean, they could have... Could be? Right? Like... Cross a river, cross a river, follow the river Gilpin to the forest here south of Undermare.
Ah, good, good, good. We got a note with it. Heading west, cross two rivers, followed a river for a while. The edge of a wood. Could hear it on my left. Heading west. And then followed a river on the left. It doesn't say that they head west the whole time. Just that they followed it. It might really be here. Cross a river, cross a river, follow a river, and then left in the edge of a woods. There's certainly a building here that's otherwise unmarked. Nothing. Ah, shucks. <laughs> Bummer. Okay. I mean, maybe we wanted this this space, actually. Come to think of it. Because it said the edge of a wood, so it could be here. Alternatively, river, river, follow this river, go to the edge of a wood. It could be here. There's several places where this could be. Yeah, exactly. You would expect it to be near Ravenglass. Good night, RF Ewing. Yeah, I would I would be down to Oberden. Good night, those of you who are hitting the sack. We never did max out Rising Dread. Yeah, no. Your best guess would be F7. You like this one? Cross, cross and then follow a river here in the low wood. Although it doesn't say they ever crossed it. And it does say they heard it to their left as they traveled. So what if it's actually here? West, 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 following a, or rather, yeah, one, two, this is the the wording is really confusing, right? Because they crossed two rivers and then we followed a river for a while, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a third, right? It could have been cross cross and then follow here. And when you say follow river, you usually mean like follow the direction the river is flowing, which would be towards the ocean here, right? So it could be here. Right, you wouldn't be following a river. That's not following a river. That's that's going to be the key. That's going to be the key. They said they followed a river. You don't follow a river upstream. I like this. I like this. H4. Her story? I feel like I've heard of that one before. You should do it once, Teak. Max out Rising Dread. Just to see it happen. Let me finish my plans. It gives you a mini game? I kind of want to see that. Okay. I'm going to take my guess here. I, I believe in this spot. Freaking monks. <laughs> <laughs> Simone Green, the librarian. Huh. Have we seen this text? It's good to see you too, Hellbore. It's been a while. You seem as relaxed as ever, though. Nothing ever phases you, does it? I must admit, I've been buried in my books and seem to have missed all the excitement. I hear you and your plants had a part to play, though. 
I've been collating some information on a selection of plants for a little book I'm putting together. Oh, this is post events then. Got you. I was hoping you could help me finish identifying all these plants. Let's start with the moonlight flower, Bella Knox. I've always loved that one. Bella Knox? I don't have an ID for that, yo. Okay, okay. Give me a minute. I need to go do some splorin'. Bella Knox, huh? I mean, we can do this quite easily. Let's do this clue first, and then we'll go back to the the searching. We need a summit and then three locations. Let's check all of our familiar summits. Here's one of them. It's too far north. Here's one. That's our dude. Maybe. Yeah, check it out. Whitbarrow, and then northeast by two squares, Scissorg. South two and east one, Meat Hop. South three and east two, Arnside. We want south one and east three. The sun is low in the sky. I'm tired after a long day. I've earned this reward. I earned this. New plants. Oh God. Hey! Sparse leaves or sparse petals. It's that one plant. But the flower, we already have that. And where do they put it? Where'd they put my new plants? Do they not get delivered while I'm talking to someone? But I just saw it. And now it's gone. Was I, did I, did I sequence break? Did I do bad? <laughs> Where's my plants? <laughs> they didn't get delivered. To the right of the dead man's fingers. Oh, nice. Good. We did get the plants. Thank you. Well, there's one of them at least. Where's the other one? I mean, this is certainly the one. Watched your first VOD of this game. We have a lot of plants now. Yeah, we've gotten a lot way since then, Patsa. That's true. Okay, that's what I thought. I thought it was a plant I already had. So you can get the same plant that you've already found before, Srab? I didn't know that. I was going to say it looked like a Mary Dock. But I didn't realize you could get the same plant twice. Wonder why that is. Yeah, we still have to find the monastery. We'll figure it out. Okay, what was this one? Sparse petals. And it perfectly matches the little stamen. When I see the picture, I'll know. I like how this game makes you start to feel like you're actually a crazed botanist. Truly role play. Lyle of Neptune. After all this time, we finally found it. Truthsayer. The plant will force a person to tell the truth. That's this. Sparsely petaled pale flowers give off a strong scent. I 
I'm a little bit concerned um, because I'm not sure that we own Bellinox. We might have to guess blindly based on the name unless we can find this monastery. We also could make this elixir. No seed will grow that does not wither. No water will languish upon the river. No man will last forever hail. We all will wear the blackened veil. Leaf of the Storian, dark flower of the tomb, stench of the twilight. Stench? Sunset is twilight. Dark flower of the tomb. We just identified that recently. Leaf of the Storian. Isn't Storian also a poison? Poison! These are not... The the leaf, rather, the stench of the twilight. This is the, the sunset cap or whatever. That's identified. But the tomb and the Storian are not definitively identified. Yet. No water will languish upon the river. No man will last forever hail. We all will wear the blackened veil. No. Okay. That means that one of these is wrong. It's either the Storian or the Tomb, because we know the Sunset Cap is correct, and I don't know what else would be Stench of the Twilight. And there's not anything called Twilight. Uses a fragrance in soaps and candles, and it has these small little leaves. Dark blue flowers smell sweet like rhubarb. It matches pretty well. See if there's anything else that we have that has those small little nice looking leaves. It's not identified. Oh, that's true. The black mushroom was really stinky. It's true. But it says stench of the twilight. Well, it could be called like a twilight mushroom. That's true. That's true. It's possible that it doesn't mean sunset cap. Maybe this is called a twilight mushroom. I mean, we can try blind. Nothing is more fun than randomly putting ingredients together and stewing. Mistakes have been made. Twice now. We have misbrewed. This is fine. Dark red fruit should not be ingested under any circumstances. They're highly poisonous, resulting in insanity and death. Distinctive triple xylem and phloem. Dark red fruit. This is Hinchuck, so that's not it. There's no other dark red fruit that we own. Other than the fever kiss. I mean, this is our story, and so that's good. It must be the tomb that we have wrong. And or this. Fragrance and soaps and candles, man. Okay, we'll go back to searching for the monastery, perhaps. Wow, it got much harder, like, very suddenly. I never... I never had a moment like this through the main gameplay. This is the first time I've really felt like, huh... Where am I going? Okay, well this is, we'll put our, put our potentials together here.
Oh my god, freaking inscription. Freaking inscription. I really loved the game, but they did me dirty. Who intentionally codes an in-game response to winning an unwinnable fight, but then also prevents you from making any progress until you do lose the unwinnable fight? <laughs> like, with no indication that you are otherwise sequence locked. That was so cruel. That was like, that was, as a gamer, this was very hard for me. Okay, let's try this again. Cross two rivers. Follow it. They left me in Ravenglass. Followed it for a while. The edge of a wood. Cross two rivers, then we followed a river for a while. It's just so natural that this would be the place, but we checked here, so maybe we should check here. These are also rivers that go westward. And there's a very small wooded section here, but it's on the wrong side. Cross, cross. Wait a minute. Then we followed a river for a while. Wait, is this? Oh, I'm going about it backwards. This concludes at Ravenglass. Damn it.